I'm not really one for selling my pieces, but I think it might be time that some of these hit the road. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to this video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick from Tavu here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. Hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly two to three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrate yourself and of course, celebrating others. So, a fleeting visit there from Miss Poppy. Um, so, I am thinking about potentially letting go of some pieces. I've seen a few videos recently, most recently, um, Amelia Rose's video where she was talking about some pieces that she was thinking of letting go of as part of sort of a declutter. And it, it's something I've had on my mind for a while and I'm now at a place where I think it probably is time to just simplify and to reduce the pieces I have, particularly those that I'm not using that I've owned for a long time. In all of these cases, I've owned these for a long time. They've not seen a huge amount of use. They don't spark a huge amount of joy. So I'm just in this mindset of do I don't I are they worth getting rid of I just I don't know so I would really like your thoughts on on this to be honest some I would sell some I would possibly donate um I haven't quite decided the mechanism I won't be doing a vlog sale what I would probably do is send them to you know a local or sort of UK based um consignment store or maybe an Instagram sort of consignment store um and and see if they would see if they would take them and be able to move them that's kind of where my head goes to but let me go through the pieces and let me talk to you about them and I, I'd love to know what your thoughts are if, if they're worth holding on to you think or if they're if they're worth moving on um okay let's start here the one that I toy with the most and I actually did request a quotation um for this bag and this is my um mulberry sort of bright sunshine yellow backpack is this called the urban backpack or explorer backpack or something along those lines i saw one for sale on handbag clinic for 795 pounds um the only difference was that had a, a charm on it this one didn't um but same everything else um but yeah i have i have been toying with the idea of getting rid of this um, I love the colour, that was why I bought it. I'm not a backpack person. And whenever I think of using this, I always pick up something else. There's always another bag. I talk about using it for carry-on, for example. I've got other bags that I think are more my style that I would prefer to use because I am a form over function type of person. So as, as you know, this does have some great functionality. I love the one shoulder design that it can go cross body as well as being sort of um, shoulder bag. The bugger with this one is that the zips can sometimes stick it didn't stick there but they can sometimes stick a little bit but that's because it's got this enclosed zipper remember the palm springs mini debacle many years ago where people were buying the ones with the enclosed zipper and were finding it really frustrating that's what this has as well so yeah it does and again here it's not the not the smoothest um but you know it's a great bag um it would make someone very happy i used it actually La, not last week, the week before. And it was fine. I just didn't love it. Just didn't love it. You know, and now I've got this sort of bright yellow Prada. Um, you know, that's a bag I that's a bag I will use and do use and, and actually sparks a bit more joy. It's a nice bag. And you know, Mulberry's a price point that it's a shame to have it sat languishing in my collection. That's number one. Number two, I bought this on my birthday back in 2021, maybe. I bought it the same day that I bought my Longchamp Rousseau. And it is my MCM Orange Shopper in the Logo Glitch. Logo Glitch? Yeah, Logo Glitch. And I've used it probably 20, 25 times. Super practical, easy to use. It's a great bag. 
it's just the the style of it um doesn't work for me in terms of the palette of the mcm here with this um sort of canvas on the back if this was a different color to be fair if it didn't have the red in it i would actually see myself using it a lot more but as you all know i have a real aversion to red i really cannot stand red as a color um if the red was maybe where the orange is and the orange was the red i maybe would look at it differently but i do also have the cubic camouflage which is much more my style so i don't think i need both um certainly given that this one always always sit second when i need the functionality of this bag i grab the cubic camouflage so this one certainly isn't required i don't love it maybe it needs to go another one that's just been replaced by in my mind better versions and it is the longchamp nylon um clutch and look, it's a nice piece um this is one that i would probably donate just because it's got a few sort of marks on it um i did originally buy it as a tech pouch maybe that's what i should keep it as um but it's a nice bag i like the flexibility of it it's just black gray and orange aren't really my go-to's and um as much as i have my orange um base water that's a bit of an outlier in terms of um my collection and that color um and it's so bright it's so saturated with silver hardware um whereas this hmm, i don't love it i love the details of it it's just not very me super practical easy to use i've enjoyed it when i've used it which is why I'm now sat here thinking, so why don't you keep it? Because I have enjoyed it when I've used it. Okay, we're taking that off the list. We're keeping that. Thanks for your help. Next up, another victim of the fact that I just don't use this style of bag. As much as I love the colour, I bought it in this bag because I couldn't get it in the style I actually wanted. And it is this um, beautiful sort of cloud blue um, Le Pliage backpack used, I would say, twice, maybe three times. Um, I wanted this in a medium top handle, loved the colour, bought my mum the medium top handle, didn't buy it for myself and regretted that because I love this colour. Um, I bought it in the backpack because that was all I could find and I don't really use this backpack style any longer. I have a beige one, I got rid of my pink one, I have the beige one, I don't use any of them. Um, there's another, you know, I've got that mulberry that's in this list as well. I just don't use backpacks. Um, they're not something that I grab for. Um, I used the beige one significantly when I first bought it, but it was my only one. So this, I think, might need to go as well. I think I used this once. And as beautiful it is, it is, it's this lovely Osprey London mock croc clutch bag. Very well made very gorgeous interior i mean this is a beautifully well thought through clutch bag it's actually a wristlet because you've got the detachable wrist strap stunning really well made i am just not the person that when they're using a clutch is using one that's small and dainty like this i like a larger clutch bag i like one that i can fit more items into the smallest one that i've got is this Prada and as you can see there is quite a significant size difference between the two and this is the smallest one I own and that's the smallest really I would use so taking that into consideration I think this should probably go I have you know I asked for example I asked my mum if she wanted this I've asked a few people if they wanted it and they all go oh it's a gorgeous bag I just wouldn't use it so everyone's in the same camp as I am with love it, wouldn't use it. So I think this might be one that goes on to, onto the donation list um, for me. I didn't pay a huge amount for it. It's beautifully made, impeccable condition. I think that this could be sold for, you know, a decent amount and someone can hopefully love it and the money can go towards a good cause. So that one I think could do that. This is a similar thought. And this is my Aspinall of London travel wallet. Now, this could also be used as a clutch, but I think it suits being a travel wallet much better. It's got the organisation in it. It's in this gorgeous kind of Merlot colour, which, again, red, not really, not really my jam, is it? Um, although if I am going to do red, I'd prefer these much darker, deeper shades. Um, it's got this beautiful blue sort of suede interior. Fabulous condition. Um, 
had it for ooh, five years, nearly five years. But I've got a pink one, which I use a lot. And that's the only one that I need. Who needs multiple travel wallets? I certainly don't. I rave about these because I think they are fantastic, but I don't personally have an interest in, um, I don't personally have an interest in having multiple. I have done for the past nearly five years. Now, let's simplify it and let's move this on. Another one that I've requested a quote for, oh, used barely. My faux fur Kurt Geiger double XL flap. I really like the double XL style, but the faux fur I just don't really use. To be honest, storing this just feels more like a nuisance if it's just living inside um, one of my bags most of the time. It's almost a glorified bag bag shaper for me, to be honest, um, or a bag pillow. It's in impeccable condition. Love the style of the double XL flap with the fact that you have the ability to do a crossbody, long shoulder, double shoulder. I actually bought this for an event and used it as an oversized clutch. Now that I have all of my clutch bags, that was really the only time I'd properly use this. I've used it a couple of times in winter, but even with winter coming up, I can't see myself grabbing for it. Bought this at the very start of 2023. Used it four or five times. Says it all. It's gotta go. I've nearly sold this one a couple of times and something has always prompted me to keep it. And this is my Karl Lagerfeld um, sort of medium size tote bag. Um, and yeah, this is fun and whimsical and playful. And now that I've changed my laptop, it does fit my laptop in it. So it can be used as a work bag. I like the fact that you have this fun element on the front and then you have this uh, much more reserved way of carrying it on the back. You can sort of go over your shoulder. It's not got the best shoulder drop on it. I will say that, not got the best shoulder drop, but um, it's okay, it's doable. Um, but that does also mean it's quite a nice length to carry just by hand and it doesn't drag along the floor. Um, it's it's a nice piece. It's got an organizer in it at the moment. I like the front pocket. What always makes me pull back from this one is just how hardy it is and the fact that it is fun. This is a little bit of fun without being too in your face. It's a little bit playful. So this is one that again, I always um and are about. And even now I'm stuck. And I have used it a couple of times since I saved it from the last time I was putting it up for sale. Hmm. Let's ponder on that one. Okay, let's get to our last few. And these ones are also very much on the maybe pile. And it is, you know, let's start with the outer. And it is the Le Pliage Neo in the colour Nordic in the medium size. Fabulous, fabulous range. Been discontinued. Love the silkiness and thickness of the nylon. The downside of the thickness of the nylon is that you aren't able to fold this bag like you can do the other Le Pliages um, or the... Um, yeah, the other Le Pliages, but that's okay. This is a beautiful example. I used this when I went to Latvia in um, April of last year. I raved about it and I told you how I'd slept on this bag and I needed to use it more. Have I picked it up since? No, I even then went and bought from the collection that then dropped a few months later, a, another variation of the Le Pliage in a different shade of blue, like a bluey purple. I'll insert a photo. Have I used that? There's my Alexa. Have I used that? No, I haven't. So do I need both? Do I need either? Mm. But again, this is one that I'm really conflicted on because when I pull it out, I'm like, why don't I use this more? Because it's a great bag. That's part of the issue, I think, is that I've got it out of sight, out of mind. So I forget. I actually forgot that I had this for a long time. I think in my, I think in my Longchamp collection video that I did, I might have even forgotten this and I had to add it in later. I actually forgot a couple of bags in that video, which is embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so I think this one needs to be out somewhere so it's not out of sight, out of mind. So I am definitely going to pull this out. The next two, let's go here. You know that I've got a sort of a love-hate relationship with this. This is a limited edition, large Le Pliage. Um, I don't love the canvas 
I don't love the colour. I wish it was either a lighter grey or black. Love the black leather. I also wish that they'd done maybe a slightly different colour variation on the horse. Again, if the head was pink, I think I'd possibly be more into it. It's just that red. Anything red, I just have a real thing about. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should get that looked into. But I just have a real thing about red. Um, so yeah, if this was this colour on the head, I'd probably look at it differently. But it's missing pink. I just don't love it. And I never have loved this bag. I never have loved this bag. It's super practical. I get a lot of compliments on it, but I don't love it. And again, I've not picked it up for a very long time. I don't love it. And I have to love it because I'm the one who bought it. You know, I paid good money for this piece. I bought it the second it launched and I, and I haven't enjoyed it really since. So yeah, this probably should also go. Bag that started my obsession with the Longchamp top handle. And this was again, a limited edition piece. I think this was from 2018. I bought it at the outlet in 2020. Um, and this is a large, Le Pliage collection piece. Just not a palette that I lean towards. Great bag. Used it particularly during um, the lockdown periods, etc. Used this a lot. Um, I was buying my home at the time. I needed to go to furniture stores and all of that. And I was taking this with me wherever I went and it was great. I didn't worry about it. It was hassle-free. Used it day in, day out. So I've really got my wear out of this bag and it still looks to be in fantastic condition. You know, a few sort of signs of corner wear, etc. But it's holding up really well. I just, I haven't picked it up for... Two three maybe two or three years i don't need to have bags for the sake of having them i don't i'm not someone who cares about being able to say that i have a collection of x number of pieces i want to have pieces that i love and i actually find it a little embarrassing to sit here and say how infrequently i've used these when you total what was spent on these it was a significant amount of money. And that to me is a little embarrassing. And I'm a bit annoyed at myself for that because, but they're also, because I've owned most of these for three or four years, they're indicative of the fact that I was exploring my style and I clearly hadn't landed on it. So thank goodness that it, they weren't more expensive mistakes. You know, thank goodness I didn't buy a piece from Dior or LV or Chanel or something that was thousands um, that I then went to regret. And if I let it go, lost a lot of money on it. However, these were still, these still together total a significant sum of money. And if I were to let them go through um, selling them, through donations, etc., I am going to lose money. There's no way I won't lose money on selling these pieces. Um, which is fine. I, I don't care about that. I, I As soon as I buy something, in my mind, the money's gone. But I do sit here and think, I just wish I'd got to my style earlier. But look, that's the journey, isn't it? We're, we're all trying to find our style, I think. It sometimes means you make some great steps, means you make some missteps. These weren't missteps because some of them I have actually really used, like this one has genuinely been well used. So they haven't all been total missteps. They've just not been my greatest successes. So there we have it, everyone. Those are the bags that are on the chopping block. Let me know what you think. Um, should I keep any of them? You know, do any of you have any recommendations in terms of how to move them on? Um, I've requested some uh, quotations on a few. There's a few that are definitely on my mind in terms of donation instead of sell. Um, and then there are a few in between that I need to decide what it, what feels right. And who knows, I might keep a couple as well and, and go from there. But let's see. Hopefully I'm not sat here in six months time with this same set of bags where you'll be thinking, but Nick, you wanted to get rid of them. So look, let, let's see how we get on. And um, yeah, would love your thoughts. Thank you so much as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.